Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technex Solutions. So in this video, we are going to look at Snipe IT installation on Ubuntu 18.04.1, that is LTS, which is long-term support, and it is supported until 2021. I think it's April uh, 2021. And uh, for that video, just make sure you configure your Ubuntu server beforehand, and it has internet connectivity and a static IP address assigned to that Ubuntu server. And then after that, we will have a look at OpenSSH configuration. By default, OpenSSH server is installed on that Ubuntu. And um, also you can connect it remotely. For example, you can use PuTTY with SSH. Uh, SSH and um, we will still, we will have a look at the configuration. And um, then after that, we will install LAMP server on that. And then uh, we will download Snipe IT. We will use uh, Snipe IT documentation for that. And uh, we will create Snipe IT database and user. So then uh, we will edit .env file. It is one of the environmental file. And then we will install composer and install dependencies. And after that, we will uh, generate app key. So that app key will automatically will update itself in .env file, which is environmental file. And uh, after that, we will configure web server. And after configuring the web server, and finally, we will browse to Snipe IT pre-flight. All right, so I'm going to log on to my Ubuntu server. I have actually configured that Ubuntu 18.04.1 on Hyper-V. And the link is given in the description. You can click on that link if you want to see how I configured it. Or if you have already configured it, it's great. You can also configure that virtual machine in um, any other hypervisor you like. So as you can see that I'm connected to my Ubuntu server and I am logged in with um, the account which I created when I created my Ubuntu server. If you like to check out that video, you can check it out. I left a link for you in the description. So this Ubuntu server is currently running on Hyper-V. You can use VirtualBox or VMware as well. It does not make any difference. Uh, apart from that, I would like to show you the documentation. It is easily available. Uh, still, I left a link for you in the description. And um, you can Google it as well, or you can click on the link. It will take you to uh, this website where you can check out the documentation for Snipe IT. And I will be using SSH client. So this client is PuTTY. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, if you open that link and then you click on uh, download, you click here. After that, you can download 64-bit or 32-bit, depends on your um, machine. Okay, all right, so now we are back to our Ubuntu server. A few things I would like to mention. Uh, if I do ifconfig and you can see my IP address, I have assigned this IP address statically when I configured my Ubuntu server. So it is recommended if we can assign IP address statically, the reason being we are going to run Apache server on it, which is a web server, and um, it is better to assign a static IP address. Apart from that, let's ping to Google DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 and I will count four pings. You can see that I'm getting reply back. It shows that I have working internet connection. You need internet connectivity because we are going to download some things, some content onto our Ubuntu server, dependencies, and then we will be installing Composer, stuff like that. Um, so this is good. And uh, by default, SSH server is installed. And to check if it is running or not, we will be using a command. Use sudo service SSH status. So it will show you that it is running. Okay, so by default, it is installed on Ubuntu 18.04.1 okay so let's just clear that and also if you look if you would like to look at uh, the configuration of um, open ssh server so you can browse to cd forward slash etc forward slash ssh and uh, if you do ls here and you can see that there's a file sshd underscore config and you use sudo nano sshd underscore config and hit enter you can view this file here okay so in this file you can see here under authentication under authentication permit root login is prohibited at the moment if you would like to log in as a root user remotely it is um, actually at the moment access is denied and you can permit that from this option but I will leave it as it is 
control X to exit out the window clear that and uh, now I'm going to go back where I was before CD space backward slash hit enter and then hit enter if you do PWD you can see uh, the home directory where we are it is forward slash home forward slash snipe IT okay so at the moment as you can see that I'm connecting through Hyper-V console but I'm not going to use that I will be using uh, my SSH client which is putty so I will open putty and I will type in the IP address of Ubuntu server which is 10.0.0.11 and um, port 22 is default click open and I will log in as snipe IT the user account I created when I install Ubuntu server hit enter and then password for that user alright so I just increased the font size of um, this window so it will look clear so I will clear this and before we start uh, I already showed you the directory where are we working from if you do PWD you can see that and um, let's just change the root password for Ubuntu server and to do that you can type sudo PASWD and hit enter and then enter the password for the user you logged in um, my user is snipeit I will type in the password for that hit enter and then you have that option to pick a new password for a root user of Ubuntu server I will pick a new password here and you have to enter it uh, twice and that's the password is updated successfully and that password is root user of Ubuntu server okay so once you do that our next step is to install a tool called task cell and this tool will help us to install lamp server on our Ubuntu server and uh, I would like to mention that I left a link for you in the description you can learn more about what task cell is so to install task cell we will use a command sudo apps install task cell and also all the commands are available in the description for you and uh, you can have a look in the description for that if you hit enter so it will go ahead and download install um, task cell and it will install it for us so I will be back as soon as this is finished alright so this is done and the next step is we are going to install lamp server so on Ubuntu 18.04.1 by default lamp server is not installed so task cell will help us in this situation so we will use a command sudo task cell install lamp dash server okay so once you do that hit enter and then you will see this um, nice colorful screen and it is retrieving 48 files so there are quite a lot of files so I will be back once we have downloaded these files and installed these files alright so it took about um, two to three minutes to download and install lamp server for us so to start with first of all we will test our Apache server to do that in the browser of your computer where you have Ubuntu server running just type 10.0.0.11 or IP address of your Ubuntu server so in my case it is 10.0.0.11 if I hit enter and I will see that it says it works apart from that if I go to 10.0.0.11 forward slash php info dot php and if I hit enter as you can see it says not found because there is nothing in that file there even this file does not exist so what we do is to test our php we will actually put that file there and uh, then we will test it okay so this command is available for you in the description of this video so it what it does is it actually creates a file and um, it will uh, put some content in the file and this will this file will help us to actually test our PHP configuration so in the browser type in 10.0.0.11 or IP address of your Ubuntu server forward slash PHP info dot PHP hit enter you'll see that a PHP version number and then also you see your Ubuntu server version as well okay so this is good we have our Apache running and we have our PHP um, configured okay so now our next step here let's go back to um, SSH client so once we have configured that we now in the next step we are going to download snipe IT alright so 
with the snipe it downloading make sure we have to change now the working directory if you do pwd you will see it's home snipe it let me clear that window it will be nice and tidy and let's go to that uh, path cd forward slash var forward slash ww hit enter on that and if you do ls you'll see only one directory there is html okay so to download snipe it if you go to snipe it documentation and you'll see installation click on installation on the top left hand corner and then you have that option step one download snipe it if you click on that so we will use git to do that so git clone this 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 uh, just copy that and then go back to your ssh client we can paste it here a uh, few changes we are going to do first of all we will use sudo and then so we will change a little bit here instead of saying your folder we'll change it to a different folder i will use snipe it you can pick any name here but uh, it will be better if you can pick some something pick something relevant so i will pick snipe it for that so it will download and put all the content to this folder named snipe it once you are happy with everything hit enter on uh, your keyboard so it will clone everything to snipe it folder and i will be back once this is done all right this is finished and now if we do ls you can see a new directory there snipe it so let's go to this uh, directory cd snipe it hit enter and then if you do ls you can see all the uh, different directories files here so what are we going to do is here's a file named dot um, env dot example so we are going to copy that file and rename it to dot env so the command is sudo copy cp dot env dot example to dot env so hit enter and then now if you have a look at that file you can use sudo nano dot env and hit enter you'll see this uh, information here but we'll come back to that later so for now just use control x on your keyboard so it will exit the window and now let's just clear it so our next step is uh, mysql configuration so to start with we'll keep the same working directory um, it does not really matter where you are at the moment so i will keep working from snap it directory and uh, here the first thing we are going to do is we are going to secure our mysql uh, configuration and uh, or installation you can say uh, and after that uh, during this process we will have that option where we will pick root username and password all right so now we are going to do mysql configuration the first thing in that is we will actually secure our installation and uh, to do that we will use um, sudo space mysql underscore secure underscore installation and if you hit enter the first thing it will prompt you to install validate password plugin so what that plugin does is it will actually check the uh, strength of your password okay so in production you might use this but for test environment i just say no i've seen that i think uh, the minimum minimum length for this password um, plugin is i think 25 characters so it is quite a pain in the butt if you install it so i'll just say no for that and in the next step is it will prompt us to pick the password for root user of mysql and um, you can pick any password for now you have to enter this password twice so this is the this was the password for root user of mysql okay so remove anonymous users up to you i will say no or you can say yes as well disallow root login remotely i might log in remotely but maybe in production uh, you will think twice to say yes to that so i will just say yes now because this is just a lab and remove test database i will remove it um, i don't need that reload per uh, privilege table yes why hit enter and it is all done so now we will log in to mysql log in mysql uh, with username root and with the password hit enter so enter the password for root we just uh, picked a password in the last step so i will enter that password and now i am inside mysql so here first of all 
we are going to create a new database and after that we will create a new user and then we will provide privileges uh, full permission privileges to that user on that database that we are going to create now so the command is create database and I will name it snipe IT and then uh, colon in the end semicolon in the end hit enter so it has created a, the database now we will create a user so the command is create user apostrophe um, snipe IT or you can I will name it my SQL snipe IT MySQL snipe IT and apostrophe again at apostrophe localhost and apostrophe again identified by by and apostrophe and that's the password so I will just say snipe IT and apostrophe again and then semicolon to finish with okay so hit enter so this user is there so now in our next step we are going to grant permissions to this user on um, snap it database grant all privileges on database name so that is snap it that's a database dot star it means everything in snap it database okay and then space two so username is mysql snipe it apostrophe at apostrophe localhost apostrophe and to finish with semicolon okay so grant all privileges on snipe it dot star means everything on that snipe it database to mysql snipe it that's a user at localhost okay once you are happy with that and hit enter and uh, then we can check the privileges so we can use show grants for apostrophe mysql snipe it apostrophe at apostrophe localhost apostrophe and uh, finish with a semicolon okay hit enter so you, you can see that grant all privileges on snipe it to everything to mysql snipe it at localhost so once this is done we will use flush privileges semicolon in the end hit enter and then exit it will say okay bye there you go and now we can use sudo service mysql status so you can see that it is running so mysql service is running and um, let's just clear that and once we have finished those steps now we will we'll edit dot env file okay so we you have to be in forward slash var forward slash ww forward slash snipe it directory so if i do pwd here you can see that i am in forward slash var forward slash ww forward slash snipe it okay so to edit that file we will use sudo nano dot env hit enter so first of all we will update app url so the app url will be http colon forward slash forward slash forward slash ip address of your ubuntu server so in my case it is 10.0.0.11 apart from that we will update a sql mysql uh, database so database name is snipe it and the username is mysql snipe it and password snipe it okay so once you're happy with that control x and then y and then hit enter apart from that if you like to go back and check it you can go to sudo nano.env again hit enter you can see that your changes are saved all right so we'll use control x on your keyboard to exit out so now in this step we are going to update some folder permissions 
So again, make sure your working directory, if you use pwd, it has to be forward slash var, forward slash ww, forward slash snipe it. Okay, so at first we are going to provide write permissions to www.data on storage and on public forward slash uploads folder. So we will use this command to do that and uh, you hit enter on this. So this is done and second is we are going to update some permissions on storage folder. So to do that we will use this command sudo chmod-r755 storage hit enter. Uh, you will find all these commands in the description of this video and the last one we are going to do is update some permissions on public forward slash downloads folder okay and you hit enter on that so this part is done so the next part is we will download composer okay so to do download a composer you can be anywhere but uh, let's go back to the home directory of this account to do that cd space backward slash hit enter and then again hit enter and then if you do pwd you will see forward slash home forward slash username in my case it is snipe it okay so let's just clear that so we'll go back to snipe it documentation and click on installation and then click on um, install package dependencies y composer so we will use this command curl dash ss https get composer this okay so we will copy that and we'll go back to our ssh client and uh, if on uh, this path if you do ls you see nothing so we will use sudo and then this command and hit enter so it says all settings correct for using composer it will download that and it will put it there so if you use ls here you can see that composer.phar is downloaded and it is sitting in that uh, directory okay so the next step is so we are going to move that uh, file so we will put that file under forward slash user forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash composer okay so we will use this command here to do that and then hit enter and if you do ls you will not find anything here but uh, if you do cd forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin hit enter if you do ls here you will see composer okay so let's just go back cd backspace backward slash hit enter and enter and clear so now once we finish composer and uh, the next step is to download all the dependencies okay so to do that we have to change our working directory so the working directory has to be snipe it directory so the snipe it directory is cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash snipe it hit enter so we will be using universe repository for that so you can use command sudo add dash apt dash repository space universe it is highly likely that you will see that it's already uh, enabled for all sources okay so which is good and we will use this command I'll just copy that command from my documentation and I will paste that here it will download all the dependencies for us okay you can see this command in the description of this video and then hit enter I will be back once this is done alright so all the dependencies are downloaded and um, now we are going to install composer to install composer we will use this command sudo space composer space install space dash dash no dash dev space dash dash prefer dash source okay so hit enter and um, it is going to take a while so I will be back once this is done so as you can see that there are 88 installs so it can take anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes depends on your connectivity how fast your internet is and your hardware as well see you shortly Alright, so once Composer is installed, um, we will use a command to generate app key. 
so that app key automatically will be updated to your .env file. So we will use sudo space php space artisan key generate. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, I didn't uh, enter the password. Um, so I'll enter the password for the user you logged in with and then hit enter. Do you really wish to continue? Of course, yes for Y and I will enter and um, you can see that it is uh, generated and now if you go sudo nano.env and uh, you can see that app key base 64 this is this okay control X so let's just clear that so now in uh, this step we are going to create a new site for snipe IT and uh, we will enter some uh, details to that as well so I will use this command uh, sudo nano sudo nano forward slash uh, etc apache two sites dash available and in this command you can copy this command from the description and you have to just change ams.technex.com here and you have to enter dot conf at the end okay so you can enter anything here so I'm just using ams.technex.com dot conf and um, you hit enter in here and then for the content of this side uh, it is provided as well in the description of this video uh, I will show you what you have to change here in here in this file you have to change the server name only okay so server name is here so you have to enter your IP address of your server apart from that you do not have to change anything okay so I will use control X and Y enter okay so if you like to look at that file again you can use the same command and then if you hit enter you can see this um, information has been saved in it so control X to exit so now let's just make connection to this site and um, to do that I will use this command so hit enter apart from that uh, we will enable rewrite as well okay so we will use sudo a to e n m o d rewrite okay we will do that and now the next step is we will restart apache 2 after that we will disable um, the default site okay so restart apache and hit enter so once you restart it we will uh, disable the default site okay so it is sudo a2 this site and triple zero dash default dot config dot conf so hit enter so it will disable uh, the default site now we will uh, reload apache 2 to do that sudo service apache 2 reload okay sudo service apache 2 reload that's good and let's browse to this path where all the sites are cd forward slash etc forward slash apache da, uh, apache2 forward slash sites dash available okay and if you do ls you can see all the different um, sites here so the default site is still here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that I'm not going to delete it for now I'll first copy that and I will rename it to default.conf temp so sudo cp triple zero dash default dot conf space triple zero dash default dot conf temp so that's a temporary file I hit enter and now I will use sudo rm and I will remove triple zero dash default dot conf hit enter and then ls again you can see that triple zero dash default dot conf is not there um, but we have triple zero dash default dot conf temp instead of that okay this is uh, this looks good so to finish with we are going to reset some associations so first of all we will uh, reset uh, mbs string uh, to do that we will use command sudo php en mod mb string and hit enter sudo a2 en mod so the next one is sudo a2 en mod rewrite and hit enter 
so it is already enabled and that's good and then we will uh, sudo service apache2 restart hit enter so it is restarted as well all right so now it's the final part we are ready to browse to our uh, snipe it pre a flight to do that open the browser and then type in ip address of your um, ubuntu server and then hit enter so you will see this page snipe it pre-flight and click on next to create database tables uh, there's a highly likely there's a chance that it will say something went wrong let's just click on that let's see what happens all right uh, as i said it is a um, chance that it will say something went wrong so you can see that it went to setup forward slash migrate okay so if you refresh this page and now it will um, prompt us to create a new user okay it says nothing to migrate and so click on next create user and now the page will be set up forward slash user okay so IP address forward slash setup forward slash user so now we are going to create that so site name I will name it um, Technix asset management and default cu currency I will change it to Australian dollar and apart from that email domain technex.com.au first name J last name Singh and then email username password re-enter password and if even if you tick on that email my credentials nothing gonna happen because uh, we haven't set up SMTP server details yet so I will just uncheck that I'll keep it as it is and I'm pretty happy with that and then click on next the setup is done thanks for watching this video and if you feel like this video is informative for you give this video a thumbs up apart from that show some support and subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet see you in the next video